Hello, my friends. Welcome. Uh, first of all, before we get into this, I want to give a shout out to a very special 12 year old playing the game. Miles, hello. Welcome. Glad you are here with us. We're having a Daily Trivia Live cookout. We asked for your favorite side at the barbecue. Let's see what everybody's bringing. Don Rose 18 asked, do chips count? Yes, of course. Yes, you get the burger with chips, hot dog with chips, ribs with chips. That like some good. I like sort of the standard Lay's chips. Absolutely. PLG8447 loves watermelon on the side. Me too. Great choice. Fimat27, potato salad. Yes, that is a standard. Gotta have it. Eamon Bob 471 said French fries. Jedi Junkie 247 said baked beans. Baby Doll Bradford. Potato salad as well. A lot of potato salad lovers. Zen Dog Mac and Cheese. AK Roberts, my homemade macaroni salad. Well, we're waiting. I'm hungry. Now, JJ said it has to be corn on the cob. I have to agree. I do love great corn on the cob. They're easy to cook on the grill. A little butter, a little salt and pepper. Boom. And I don't cut it off the cob. I eat it right off of that cob. I don't care if I get messy. This is, I'm a grown up. Gumbo du jour loves pork and beans with crumbled ground meat. That is, uh, that is an advanced maneuver. Congratulations to you uh, if you've made it. It sounds great. Kevin Wachowiak loves grilled vegetables. Very simple, very nice. Angie Mae Williams fruit salad. Treasure Teresa 91 loves cookouts just in general. Jaylin asks, do brownies count? Guess what I'm going to say? Yes. And Texas Tigress loves cornbread salad. Never had it, but I sure would like to try. And it is World UFO Day. So get ready for out of this world fun in the Tuesday edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Beam down those random bits of info into your brain as you play for today's grand prize. Take a look. That is $1,000. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice general trivia questions will split it. And in this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. Even if you've already been eliminated, here's how it works. You win the game. Those bonus SB you get throughout are automatically added on top of your share of the grand prize. You don't win the grand prize. You can still collect the bonus SB, but you do have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. So if you get bonus SB and you leave early, you will get nothing. But if you stick around and click the button that appears at the end of the game, well, you're going to get some SB. Uh, did you know that the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize? It's true. There are two ways to do it. One is using SB. The other is with a free rejoin. And if you don't have any of those, guess what? We got you covered. Click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. You can stock up. Finally, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. That's why you stick around to the end, too. Here are the winners from Monday's game. Already been credited. Congratulations. Enjoy your SB. Proud of you. Happy for you. And glad you were with us. And hey, if you don't see your name up there and you wish it was you, well, I do, too. And the only way for that to happen is for you to keep playing and claiming. All right? Because next time, the winner could be you. All right, the comments are off to be taken to your leader. So let's get this game going without them. Here is question number one. Which of the following is not one of the Miranda rights? Is it you have the right to remain silent, you have the right to an attorney, or you have the right to unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks? Which of those is not? If you get arrested, they're not going to tell you you have the right to this. When you are arrested, you need to be made aware of your rights. And unless you're arrested in an Olive Garden, you do not have the right, I, I hate to tell you, to unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. I wish. I wish you didn't have that right. I wish we all have that right. I mean, you can go buy it, I guess. But 97% of you getting that one right, well done. I hope none of you have been arrested or under arrest right now. If so, and you're playing the game with your hands behind your back, that is very impressive. Uh, let's move on to question number two now. We have over 15,000 people in grand prize contention, and every question you get right from here on out gets you one bonus SB. Here is question number two. Where did shepherd's pie originate? Is it Thailand, the United Kingdom, or Canada? Where is shepherd's pie from? I almost did it with an accent that might have given it away. Oh, ground beef and veggies cooked in tomato paste and broth and topped off with mashed potatoes. Yes, count me in. 
And who says that the UK is not the best place for food? United Kingdom is the answer. 91% of you getting that one right. Well done. Also home of the Beef Wellington, which I don't like mushrooms, but I like every other part of it. So if there's like a mushroomless Beef Wellington floating out there, maybe grilled onions instead, I would I would dig on that. Uh, you know, I, I would have it because uh, it looks so good. All right, we are moving on to question number three now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which of the following scientific theories is believed to be responsible for earthquakes? Is it plate tectonics, super string, or single climate theory? Which do we think is responsible for earthy quakes? This theory proposes that the Earth's lithosphere is made up of a bunch of tectonic plates that are shifting, hence the name Plate tectonics. That's right. Plate tectonics is the answer. 95% of you getting that one right. Well done. Single climate theory is the theory that there is a climate out there that just hasn't met the right other climate yet to get into a relationship with. And they're really happy on their own. And we shouldn't expect them to just jump into a relationship anyway. All right. Of the 5% of you that got eliminated, pretty much everybody came right back in. We are on to question number four now. It is worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. In sailing, what does footloose refer to? Is it the anchor, the sail, or the captain? If you hear footloose... What does that refer to? Which of these things? If you don't secure it properly to the bottom of the mast, it's going to flap in the wind. And unlike the Kevin Bacon movie, being footloose is bad for a sail. It's the bottom of the sail doing that thing. Only 33% of you getting that one right, but it was a brutal question, so don't feel bad. I'm impressed the third of you got it. But I, it would be cool to see the captain getting foot loose. Everybody get foot loose. I mean, maybe there are captains who dance around, but that's they, they wouldn't say foot loose uh, on the boat because otherwise, well, they would get in trouble. Of the 67% of you that got eliminated, most of you coming right back in because you haven't had to rejoin yet. Most of you doing that for free because you're getting those free rejoins one way or another. Fantastic. Let's move on to question number five worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Well, it's a one for the money, a two for the show, a three to get ready. Now go, cat, go is the first line of what song? It's Bohemian Rhapsody, Baby Got Back, and Blue Suede Shoes. And if you like my singing, well, thank you. Thank you very much. This is a weird song. You'll let someone knock you around and put you down. They can do anything that they want to do as long as they stay off of your blue suede shoes. That is weird. Sorry, that's a weird set of rules. You do you, but 90% of you knew, of course, blue suede shoes is the answer. My my perfect, flawless Elvis Presley uh, impression must have tipped some of you off. At least one of you? Yeah, I'll take it. Of the 10% of you eliminated, we got about a sixth of you back into the game, doing a little quick math for you. So we move on, halfway done this one already, moving to question number six, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, question number six. Who wrote a novel starting with the famous line, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times? Is it Harlan Coben, Charles Dickens, or Danielle Steele? I wish I could give you extra if you could tell me the actual novel, but it doesn't work that way. It's one of the most famous openings to any book from A Tale of Two Cities, written by one of literature's greatest authors, Mr. Charles Dickens. Of course, Charles Dickens is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. Uh, fun fact, I once played Charles Dickens in an improvised podcast with Paul F. Tompkins, and it was one of the most fun things I ever did until I came back as Dr. Seuss a couple years later. Let's move on to question number seven, worth one bonus SB, if you get it right. What TV show popularized the phrase, get the hell out of Dodge? Is it The Lone Ranger, Bonanza, or Gunsmoke? Classic TV show, all three of these, who popularized the phrase, get the hell out of Dodge? Yes. Get Out of Dodge refers to Dodge City, Kansas. For once, it's simple, and it does come from the longest-running Western in television history, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke is the answer. 57% of you getting that one right. Another tough question, because it could have been any three of these. Maybe Bonanza would make a little bit more sense, and most of that taking place on the Ponderosa Ranch. Most of you knew that. The Lone Ranger could have been, but it was Gunsmoke, and most of you got that one right. Not bad. About 20% of you coming back after that one. We're down to about 7,500 people in grand, grand prize contention. Bah, 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 bah. With only three questions left to go. Next one worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here's question number eight. Which of the following American football positions plays defense? Is it linebacker, wide receiver, or halfback? 
Only one of those plays on the defensive side of the football or foosball. This position requires size, speed, tackling ability, and versatility. You may be a run stopper, you may be edge rushing, or a linebacker could be tasked with just straight up covering a receiver. That's right, linebacker is the answer. 74% of you getting that one right. The halfback, also a running back. You get the halfback, fullback, behind, lining up behind the quarterback. Quarterback, halfback, fullback. There you go, all the way back. That's sort of how far back they are from the... Anyway, uh, the wide receiver, of course. Uh, that is... They get all the glory. Jerry Rice... One of the greatest of all time. And then Emmett Smith, one of the greatest halfbacks of all time. Didn't mention any Eagles. I did it. Let's move on to question number nine. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In which game do you flip over face down cards trying to find identical images? Is it Uno, Memory, or Pinochle? Trying to match them up and then take them away. They're face down. You flip them over. When you're a little kid and you win this game, you feel like the smartest person on the planet. I mean, who else could display the recall ability needed to conquer the game of memory? Memory is the answer. 5,200 or 729 of you have made it this far and you are ready for our final question. But of course, you know, I got a little bit to say first. One is that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of these exciting Daily Trivia live games. One of them is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the quick, hostless version of schedule up to twice per day. That's a fun one. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. This is crucial, my friends. This is where you get to the Tap Joy wall. Do your Tap Joy every single day. So you drink your milk, you take your vitamins, you do your Tap Joy, unless you're lactose intolerant, then you don't have to do the first thing. But do the other two. Build winning habits. The, 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 Tap Joy way, the Tap Joy wall has these quick offers that will help you check daily discover off of your to-do list. Your SB will increase faster than you can imagine, and it all counts towards your daily goal. How about that? You want more SB? Sure. How about this? How about you refer friends and family to join you on Swagbucks and get free gift cards? When you refer someone to Swagbucks, I will remind you yet again, and they earn 300 SB in their first 30 days on the site, you get a $3 bonus, and that's on top of the 10% match you get from what they earn for life. So you're setting up, it's like uh, you're setting up uh, this, this passive income for yourself, uh, and it's the best. I bet you everyone here who's listening knows one person who should be using Swagbucks, and they're not because they just don't know about it yet. You could be the person who tells them. Do it after the game. Speaking of which, we are off on Thursday for Independence Day, but tomorrow we'll be quizzing you all about the things that are classically American in our Americana game. It doesn't get any more American than what you see on the screen, folks. Join us at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and play for a very patriotic $1,000 grand prize. Even if you're not from America, I think you'll still have a chance because uh, I believe in you. Right now, we have 5,825 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. We got over 15,700 of you who have stuck around to the end in a holiday week. That's fantastic. We're on to our final question now. It is worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here's question number 10. Dubai is the most populous city in what country? Is it Spain, United Arab Emirates, or Japan? Dubai is the most populous city in what country? Where is Dubai? That's another way I could have asked that. They're a cutting-edge city. Their weekends are two and a half days long. They're home to the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. And until 1971, it was just a desert in the middle of the United Arab Emirates. It's amazing what they built in such a short amount of time. UAE is the answer. 5,713 of you knew that one, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Well done to you. Let's meet a few of you. I would just like to say hi. You're each getting 18 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. S. Gosline, you are a winner. Boogie Joe, boogie on into the winner's circle. Feisty Redhead 777. We got Jeannie Esther 3, Steven, and Stones Girl. Just a few of our grand prize. And also one more that I think is fun. I'm just spitballing. 
This is a fun name. You're just spitballing. You know what you're doing? You're just winning. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB and claim them. That makes you a winner in my book. And now that all of you have these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them, of course. Right. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You've done a great job Monday, Tuesday. Why don't you come back tomorrow for our Americana game? Close out the holiday week strong. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.